Hello everybody and welcome back to the shop for 10 more action packed minutes of shop cleaning action. Oh yeah, I've been cleaning on the shop. I can actually see my bench. No, it don't look like. It still looks messy, but I've been after it. Had to mow my lawn today. Man, that's about draining. It's hot out there, people. I've been putting off that yard work just like you guys sitting back watching my videos and ain't mowing the lawn like you should. Then I seen that 105 sitting over there in the corner and I thought to myself, and I'm self, that thing's been over there for a while now and it's coming up on its second 90 day hearing. And I had to pull some strings last time to, to get a reprieve. You know, because you know the rule on the shop, if it, I need it in 90 days, it goes in the dumpster. <laughs> so here we are, coming up on its second 90 day hearing. And man, I sure would hate to see that thing sticking in a dumpster somewhere. <laughs> Calm down, sharp pencil, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Actually, this plug, <coughs> long ago sharp pencil, and uh, man, this sure is a nice old jet, man, this thing is huge, 105 Thunder Chief, this is one of my favorite all time jets right there, and uh, sure would like to mold it, and you know, I've been sitting back thinking, you know, Realistically, people, it's going to be spring before I can fly the blower. I ain't no how, no way going to try to get it ready this fall. It's just too much to do. And, and uh, I got some expensive stuff coming up. I got to buy a trailer. I got to put a radio in that thing. And uh, so this is kind of what I'm thinking. You know, I can mold this thing up pretty quick. We can get a couple people out there and interested in one. We've got, well, Paul's got these landing gear figured out. You know, the 105 landing gear actually rotate just a little bit as they go up. Paul's got two sets of these already made. Two. Uno, two sets. And uh, you can whip up another one for you. Pretty easily, they're, they're really not complicated. You know, once you know how to do that stuff, it's really not that big a deal. But uh, if anyone out there is interested in one of these 105s, kind of help cover the cost of molding, man, I could hook you up with a great big old 105 Thunder. Oh, where to go? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Let's see. Let's go from right there. Yeah. It's almost 11 foot long, people. 130 inches long. P200 fly this thing well. And uh, like I said, we got we got a couple sets of gear already made for it. I can mold this thing up quick. And uh, someone out there is interested, help us cover the cost of molding this thing. I can sure whoop you up a kid. I have the wing panels. I've got the vertical stab. We've got the elevators. And this is already all glassed. It just needs a little bit of Bondo work. And uh, man, that would that would give me my trailer. See, people, I gotta buy a trailer. Uh, I can't put all them electronics and turbines in that V1 and haul it on that uh, jet ski trailer and be caught in a rainstorm. That would just be nuts. So I gotta buy a 20 foot trailer. I gotta get all the electronics for that B1. 
And uh, you know I got a little time. Really, you know if I had the cash, I could have that B1 flying in 30 days. Plus, you know, I'm still waiting on a couple parts from Butch. We, uh, we have the main spar ready to mold. And uh, now I really, I, I just need my flaps cut, but they gotta be cut out of that tooling board too. He's got them drawn up. He's got the flap tracks uh, figured out. He even made a couple of test pieces out of wood. You can go down to my favorites, people, and see that. Also, there's an old boy in St. Louis. Got a really awesome, awesome shot of my uh, B uh, on my F-16 flying. Go down to my favorites, right there on top. This is a F-16 Falcon. But he got an awesome video and uh, did some editing and came out really nice. Got that perfect flare land and shoo. One of them old boys out there told us, man, that thing's still heavy. Said, what do you mean? I think it's perfect. I really do, people. I think that CD is it's just perfect on there. And then he says, uh, did you see the tail drop when it landed? I said, I said that's called the flare. <laughs> That's how them things land. You know, I should have gave it a little more throttle, like I did in Broken Arrow. You no, know, just when it was about two foot off the ground, I bumped that throttle up just a couple of clicks and, you know, made the, the nose not bounce. When it landed, you know, it just came in a little bit softer. But, you know, I'm getting it down, you know. And now I'm going to start doing some aerobatics with it. But, uh,. That's kind of where I am. I've just been chilling this week. You know, we take a little time off and get the shop cleaned up, get some yard work done, and kind of figure out where I'm at and what I need to do. I know all you guys want to want that, see that B1 flying, and man, there ain't nothing more I want in this world is to take that B1 on some laps. But, you know, I done decided. And it's probably going to be spring, you know, and, uh, you know, money's the factor. I've just kind of been in a financial slump lately. We had a few financial setbacks here in the house, you know, and the house stuff's got to come first, you know, family's got to come first, and, uh, you know, I got to do what I got to do to get that thing in the air, and it's going to happen. You know, uh, it's going to happen. I got that thing built, and you know, there's just a couple little setbacks. I need wings, I need a little cash. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and unless the airplane ferry comes and, and drops off a set of wings and a barrel of money, <laughs> I got to earn it, you know. And, and uh, I think this. See, I like to build planes that no one else has got. You know what I mean? And, uh, I don't really like, you know, my F-16, you know, you don't see a lot of them, so it ain't so bad, you know, but it kind of bothers me when I got an airplane sitting out there and someone pulls up beside me in their truck and whoops out another jet just like mine. <laughs> we won't run into that with this Thunder Chief. Or to be one, you know. But uh, these Thunder Chiefs been one of my favorite planes from way back, and we got one sitting out there at McConnell Air Force Base at the front gate. And boy, I look at that thing every time I go by. And uh, man, I sure would like to get that. So, oh, uh, if anyone's interested, help us cover the cost of molding this thing. Sharp pencil. We might be able to buy it. A little bit more time. I can't promise you anything. I'm gonna have to run it by the board. <laughs> but but uh, it's looking good, man. I sure would like to get this thing molded up. That's a cool jet, and it, man, it wouldn't take me long either, people. That's probably only like a four-piece mold plus that nose. Well, it's six pieces. I can mold that up pretty quick. And it won't be near as intense as the B1, but uh, give me a shout if you're interested. Till then, we'll see you back in the shop.